Hey guys, um, this is Miranda. I'm doing an everyday, um, natural, really light makeup tutorial. I've been watching YouTube videos a lot more lately, and a lot of people just don't put so much heavy foundation, and I just feel like I need to join the club because I put way too much makeup on. And if you have that, like, addiction like I do, it's really not necessary, and there's a way you can look like you have a lot of makeup on without having a lot of makeup on and you can look nice and made up without you know all the hassle and all the time and so I thought this would be a really good idea for like back to school and everything so here we go um, I actually had this concealer I haven't used it in forever um, it's 15 um, fit me Maybelline and what I'm gonna do is you can see my face it, it's a little pink it's really not a really even tone but I kind of want to keep that natural skin tone because I can't find foundations that match how pale I am and that's really sad but I'm too lazy to get out in the sun <laughs> so I'm just gonna put some concealer like on the pink areas of my face so we're just gonna kind of put some on the cheeks I know it looks like it's a lot but it really I mean it's just little dabs and we're gonna put some down the nose and beside it, uh, because I'm really red right here around the nose, um, I have the allergies and um, it just gets really red and sensitive around there. And then, you know, a little between the eyebrows and just a few dabs on the forehead because I really have pretty even color up there. Just a little around the chin and down here. You can see I have this really nasty scar, so I have to like watch out for it. I can't put any makeup there. Um, I got this scooter for college and the second week I had it, I crashed it and had a huge hole in my chin <laughs> and it was bad. And I had to get like stitches and it wasn't fun so I really can't blend too much into the neck but that's why this like makeup look is great because it really blends with your skin tone. If you get the right color concealer you're good to go. So, I'm going to blend this. I'm blending this with a MAC 187 SE. It's the holiday version, so you really can't see the number on it, but I promise that's the number. <laughs> and I'm just going to, like, blend it all in all over my face. A little bit on your eyes just to give you a little bit of a primer. I haven't really decided if we're going to put some shadow on or not, but it never hurts to put a little bit of concealer on your eyes. So as you can see, that even my skin tone in like a millisecond, like why do I even put foundation on when it's that easy to even my skin tone? Like, I feel like a freaking loser. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of brightening with this concealer stick I got today, Maybelline Cover Stick. Um, FF110, you probably aren't as pale as me, so you could get a deeper shade if you want. And I'm just going to kind of like draw a line right under my eye, this little area. And like right down my nose and right around it because I said, you know, it does get pink right here. A little bit on my chin just to highlight that. And what I've found is best is to get like your favorite foundation brush because obviously I don't want these lines <laughs> and just kind of dab it in. And yeah, this isn't going to blend at all, but it's going to help it like kind of soak into the skin um, so that you can blend it with your brush. So now I'm going to use the smaller version of that MAC brush, the 130SE. It's a nice little blending brush for concealer. And actually I don't know if it's a concealer brush, but that's what I'm using it for, so whatever. And just blend those little places in just to give you a little highlighting around those areas. And that's all you have to do for this face. Um, when you use only a little bit of concealer, you really don't need powder over it because it's not very 
it's like finished. You, it really doesn't need a finished powder on it. Okay, next, um, I'm going to do a little bit of eye color. Uh, I'm going to use my Naked palette and use the color Naked right there. And just put a little bit over the pinkish parts of my lid. Like I say, not everybody as is, is as pale as me, so you might not even need this. It's just a little bit of a deeper brown tone to give me a little bit of color on my lid. And then I'm just going to curl my lashes. I'm not going to worry about eyeliner. Um, so. I know I say um a lot. I'm really sorry. Just give him a good curl. And I'm going to use my Mega Plush Volume Express Maybelline um, mascara. Just give it a few lashes. It's really hard to see in this camera, so I'm very sorry if I mess it up. Okay, so the eyes and the face are done. Um, I did line my brows earlier. <laughs> I'm sorry if they're crooked. I have a case of really crooked brows, so I tried to even them out as much as possible. But if you wanted to line your brows, um, I don't use shadow. I use a, a, a brow pencil. Uh, Maybelline but you know that's totally up to you I just like lining my brows I think it gives me a little bit of definition for this really natural look um, but this look is mainly about the glowiness of your skin so I'm going to share one of my favorite products with you that I got this summer um, if I can find it <laughs> My makeup counter is a mess, as you can see, so it's going to take a little bit of a hunt to find this product. I don't know. I just used it, like, literally. Holy guac. It's like this awesome bronzer. Oh, here it is. <laughs> it was sitting there the whole time. Um, Tantastic Milani. It is great. But I am pale, so I'm not going to use too much. I'm just going to define, like, my cheeks with this e.l.f. complexion brush. So I'm going to kind of do that number right there. I'm sorry about the face. Just give it a nice little brush of color. It is a little shiny. It might be a little shiny for this, like, natural look. But I don't really have any other bronzer, so. But it does give that, like, defining cheek thing. Um, and we're just going to put a little bit of blush. I learned this trick. If you put your blush any further this way than your um, pupil, you're doing it wrong. So make sure you stay on this side. Um, I guess I broke that rule, like, all of my makeup life, and I feel like an idiot. Uh, let's see what blush I'm going to use. I have this little, I have this little uh, trio CoverGirl blush, Ooh. and I think I'm gonna try out the lightest one, this little pink one right here, with my Elf blush brush, and I'm gonna follow that pupil rule. So I'm gonna stay on this side, and just kind of do it on the apples of my cheeks. I like to do that little smile thing to make sure like you get the apples of your cheeks because it's kind of hard otherwise. Now, yeah, I think that's enough because this look is not about too much and I have to get used to that. Actually, I think this is a little uneven. Just enough. Okay. Miranda, stop. <laughs> okay, so the only thing left is the lips, and I'm going to use Baby Lips by Maybelline um, 30 Peach Kiss. It's just a simple little shine. It kind of matches with my lip color. I don't know about yours, 
but I would just say stick to a natural lip color that pretty much blends with your natural lip. And just kind of, you know, give it a run. <laughs> okay, so we're pretty much done. The point of this video, I'm really happy with it. I think it's so easy. It looks so natural compared to my normal makeup. And, you know, I don't have to be spending 10 bucks on a foundation like every month or two anymore. I just spend it on a little bit of concealer and that'll last me a while. Like, I'm betting it'll last me like four months. Um, tutorials to come. I know I haven't done any all summer. Um, me and Lily are trying to get to together, but our schedules just don't work. So maybe she'll make some separate videos. But I have been using Mane and Tail shampoo and conditioner for like a week. It is so cheap and it's supposed to make your hair grow. My hair's in a bun right now, but I recently got it trimmed like to here. And I'm going to do a video where I straighten it completely, measure it, and say like all the great stuff about that product. And then, you know, maybe at Christmas we'll see how far I've came. Uh, come. <laughs> so look forward to that video. I will really upload it soon as I can. And have a great back to school era, I guess. And I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial.